praise be Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of the precious blood of Jesus. The blood of our Lord, which of course is more precious than gold and silver because it was the price of our redemption. The blood of Christ was prefigured throughout the Old Testament in the Old Testament sacrifices. All of those, the bulls and bullocks, was sprinkled on the altar and on the people, all in symbol of the blood of Christ, which would eventually cleanse us at the work of His redemption. Our Lord received His precious blood in the womb of Our Lady from her immaculate heart. The precious blood of Christ was under the form of wine at the Last Supper and then to take the form of sweat in the Garden of Gethsemane until the final pouring out of His blood from His pierced heart upon the cross, symbolizing the sacraments and the life of grace in the church. And all of this simply calls to mind the love of God for us, the fact that He shed His precious blood to win our redemption and did this freely as a free decision of His own to bring us into the kingdom of heaven. And it's this kind of love that asks for a response, reciprocal love, we might say, blood for blood, perfectly realized in the life of the martyrs. From the beginning of the life of the church, we've always recognized in the martyrs the perfect demonstration of love, blood for blood. But each and every one of us ought to have the will of a martyr, the interior disposition to shed our blood for the love of God. As it's said in the letter to the Hebrews, we have not resisted sin yet until shedding our blood. This is how much we ought to love God, to rather shed our blood than to offend our God. I think we have a little bit greater gathering today because we had a, an unfortunate death, or two unfortunate deaths yesterday. Tom Gerard and his son Mark, unfortunately, they drowned yesterday evening. And perhaps it is a grace that this occurred on the vigil of the Feast of the Precious Blood of Christ. And we see also a bit of providence in the reading of the Holy Gospel today, when our Lord was on the sea with His disciples and the violent storm came up, and they thought for sure that they were perishing. And by the word of our Lord, He calmed everything and rebuked them for their little faith. And really, it was in the last moments that Tom specifically revealed the faith of himself and his family. He and his four kids who went out to swim, Tom providentially went to confession yesterday before lunch and then took the kids out to swim yesterday evening. And as they were going to swim from one shore to the small island, their destination, Tom said to the kids, make sure you have your brown scapulars on. And so they did. They all had their brown scapulars on. What a great sign, what a great blessing, what a great sign of love of Our Lady for her devoted followers. We see how Our Lady follows us throughout our life, protecting us and guiding us. And if we entrust ourselves to her and to divine providence, all will work out for the best. And so, in this Holy Mass being offered in honor of the precious blood of Christ and for the repose of these two blessed souls, as you know, Mark was planning to become a postulant with the Friars of the Immaculate this fall. And so, we ask Mark to... Pray that 
God send us not one, but two innocent souls like himself to replace his spot in the postulancy and in the ranks of the Friars of the Immaculate to serve Our Lady as she wishes. Praise be Jesus Christ. Thank you.